All right, so as I said during my half episode, uh, yeah, I failed a massive battle and I'm having to do this again. So, yeah, you did see me already, assuming you watched the last episode. There's a mass, a mass, uh, preparations, massive preparations, I should say. Might as well. So, I have no idea how this is going to go, but I will spare the Mother Worm fight. Well, I'll spare you having to watch that. I'm recording this because, as you can see, my characters are gaining levels. And I do want to uh, update their uh, skill board as well. I should probably actually get around to using uh, my current attacks. That might help. Also, I want to see real quick. Uh, yeah, I ain't going shopping. To the north, we must get as close to the capital as we are able. Together. We'll be safe if we can make it to the capital. Ow. I'm sorry that I probably should not have used my vetting skill when I did. I think that's for me to worry about when I go up against the mother worm again. What do you think we're trying to do? Bath about? Alright. So one, I'm going to give Nina a blueberry. I got there is no going back. Our only Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, and two uh, skill trees. So you got 131. I don't want to give you your skill yet. Where's HP up and... Hmm. No, well, HP up. Actually, there's HP up and in select up. Alright, as for Raymond... I'm not really guarding, but I guess Havens have to go that way. Hmm. Let's give you defense up. Health up. And... Sure, why not? Good stuff. Okay. Then for you, Albert. Hmm. Well. I don't want to... Again, I don't want to rely on using items with you. I could give you weakness and resistance up, or some guts and defense. Just, yeah, let's see guts and defense. Nina! Uh, I'm gonna give you health. Oh. 
I mean, I would give you health and defense, but that's not gonna happen. So this gives you extra uh, 2%, 3%, ooh, two three percent. Uh, I'll like this one on the off chance I want to make sure you use this skill. And there's nothing that's only... Well, you're not sure. That's it, I couldn't find one that only costs 25, but might as well. And then Elena, who I am not actively using. Why not? And just to... I cannot say. Well, so much for that. So... Unless things go horribly wrong, I'll see you after the Mother Worm fight. Alright. Here we go again. So, Estery Cage. So, supposedly the party members' defenses are enhanced. But things didn't go up so the last time I was trying to do this. However, I can't use the vatting while we're in the state. So... New program I said in my vatting that entire battle for that reason in particular. Oh dear. Hang on, I'll use a resurrection elixir. Alright. Oddly enough, I haven't had to really use my resurrection elixirs. This attempt. Yeah, I got a game over earlier. But that's not really worth mentioning. <sighs> Thank you, Cthulhu. What? What strength is this? If you had the power to do this, why didn't you do this earlier? If you had... Bertrand's soldiers wouldn't have had to die. Hostile threat detected. Again? Incalculable hostile readings approach from the north. Initiate emergency measures. Did you say... Uh, from the north? It must be. Attack! Show not a shred of mercy to those who tread unbidden on royal land. Do not let them leave alive. The Imperial forces need not be feared. Onward! Your Majesty, Princess Leticia, are you alright? General Canis! We came with all haste as soon as we heard the news that Baldar had fallen. I am relieved we made it in time. General Canis, Captain Bertrand is heading the rear guard at Baldar. Please, you must help them. Calm yourself, Sir Albert. Duke Clemrath is already seeing to their aid. Commander Theo is also leading a fleet of warships to engage the Imperial Navy. Far to news. All right, are we gonna be okay here? Ray, it seems that way. Please, this way, Your Majesty. We have a steed prepared for you. Wait, I'm still treating a... Know your place, child. Duke Clemrath's personal Iatromancer will see to His Majesty's recovery. We may have been better off without their aid. I don't think vice versa would have been true. That's just me thinking. See you Theo is father. Do not worry yourself. 
His Majesty is being treated by most capable hands as we speak. Bertrand also managed to return to us. The Imperial Assault did not gain them much purchase. Yet... so many were lost. <sighs> yes, indeed. We must needs discuss the path forward. Pray join us in the Council Chamber, Letty. As I said, thank Cthulhu we got through that. Well... So as of right now, I have no idea how long this episode is. However, did it come to this? Uh... Crap went down 15 years ago. Or at least started to go down. As I said, I have no idea how long this episode is. Because I cut out... Uh... My two attempts at the Mother Room fight there. Yes, indeed. However, we do not know how long it will stay that way until we have a better understanding of the situation. For now, we should make for the palace. I am heading there. Nope. Thanks. They don't have weapons. I can't do any uh, side quests. That's an item. Sweet. Why is there a poison bomb right here? <sighs> so onwards, the royal capital, Asandros Palace Gardens. Good thing I'm recording this on 1080, huh? I don't think I touched any of the bushes there. The last for the spice I uh, had to do. I think the skill trees helped out. Or at least uh, spending my SP, I should say. At least a little bit. Despite things going south on my first attempt, this recording session. But really, that's not worth talking about. Something that is annoying that I do want to point out is that when I opted to continue from, from the most recent uh, quote-unquote save spot, you gave me the option to adjust the difficulty. That crap's just insulting to me. I chose the difficulty I chose because I want to play this difficulty. Anyway. Welcome to the castle, again. Oh no, people the don't want to- chamber is on the second floor. Oh. Never mind what I was about to say. I don't know, this looks like the first floor to me. Hi, item. Sweet. Hi, Velvet. Oh, I see. This is the second floor. Anyway, cutscene ahoy! The Baldar Citadel has fallen into the indecent hands of the Empire. How will you take responsibility for this? Our defense was doomed from the start. The Imperials far outmatched us. Yet we were able to rout their pursuing forces without issue. The weapons the Imperials used were beyond anything we could have imagined. Why, then, do reports indicate our forces made the first move? Were you all so eager for glory you were willing to die for it? Save the reprimands for later. We must first hear more of these Imperial weapons. I must say, 
Cannons outfitted on those Imperial warships were assuredly unlike anything we have dealt with before. They command all manner of monstrous abominations. And their soldiers were armed with weapons that fired shards of iron. Is that all? Mere trifles by the sound of it. Do you doubt Her Highness's words, General Canis? You forget yourself. Here is one of the stones fired from their contraptions. It penetrated a knight's armor, killing him instantly. It is plain to see the Empire's armaments have undergone a drastic change. Lacking as we are in sufficient field analysis, crushing defeat is all but certain should we suffer another attack. Then we shall bring the fight to them. Let us wrest Baldar back from their grasp. We shall not let them have the upper hand. That will only lead to more unnecessary deaths. For the time being, we had best wait for His Majesty to recover. Until then, you should all focus on healing your own wounds. I am relieved to see you all safe. We have much to discuss, though this may not be the most suitable place for it. Please come to the Consortium. Maester Midas has been worried sick about you. I doubt he'll admit it, though. So I can't say I'm surprised to hear that uh, one of the powers that be just wants to uh, issue reprimands for whatever happened there. I guess that's just one more reason why the UP3 is the necessary. The consortium was just east after leaving the palace, wasn't it? Yep. I wonder what Director Malthea wants to say. We're done with the well, we'll soon find out. Hopefully there aren't uh, any spies in this castle. I legitimately mean that. I'm not trying to foretell anything. I promise, this is still a blind playthrough. I haven't had to look up what to I do am yet. Rather astounded to hear Maester Midas worried after us. Midas isn't cold-hearted. He's just unable to express himself properly. You're giving him way too much credit, if you ask me. <laughs> I have problems expressing myself too. Like I have problems speaking. And like right now. I was trying to go somewhere with that too. It's one of the reasons why I uh, started doing this. Is to help myself improve on that. Anyway. So, you return in one piece. With an ally in tow no less. Yeah, this is Chloe. Chloe, meet our good pal Midas. Uh, <clears throat> nice to meet you. Well, perhaps you should have accompanied them if you were so worried after Sir Albert and Lady Elena. Try. I am come only to fix Albert's arm, nothing more. Huh, a shame that. I suppose we will only discuss what could have been. Oh? The Empire clearly had the advantage over us at Baldar. We cannot win this fight without taking the upper hand. Director Malthea, is it time? Yes, Princess Leticia. I think it is high time the Maester heard your reason for departing Asendras from the first. Please, this way, everyone. Is this... a sleigh? No way that's a sleigh. Maybe a boat? No, Ray. This machinery... Director Malthea, is this... some kind of aircraft? Yes, very perceptive. It is an apparatus that will allow semiomancers to soar through the skies. I created this prototype based on a theorized design devised by Maester Midas. 
From how I see it, this would revolutionize the war effort. Midas truly has a gift. Twas not but a foolish 14-year-old dream. What if I told you that dream was on the verge of actualization? Do what you will with my dusty old notion. I am come only to... See to Sir Albert's arm. Yes, yes, I am aware. Then I suppose it would not interest you to know that the final material needed to complete the Folga lies on Nilbeth? What? Maester Midas once attempted to make the Folga fly using ancient floating semiomancy. But the output was never enough to move them more than a stone's throw. We have recently discovered a catalyst that can greatly increase their distance and time spent airborne. It is called Levitas Ore and can only be found in the Nilbeth Ancient Coil, in the lands of the Trathin. If you jest, I shall show you no quarter. Um, have you ever known me to make light of semiomantic research? Fine, I will go. Maester Midas. But I thought you were only here for Albert's arm. I wouldn't want to get your hopes up too high, Leticia. When do we leave? Oh, what? Good. You should make for the seaport of Kado at once. I've arranged for a transport. Let us meet at the harbor. All right, let's get this show on the road. Hold on, Ray. I think I'll be staying in the Royal City. Huh? Chloe needs rest. Her imprisonment and our retreat from Baldar has surely left her exhausted. Besides that, you'll be taking a ship from Kato to Nilbeth. If we were to run afoul of the Imperial Navy, the risk to non-combatants on open water would be too great. Elena, you speak wisely. If I stay, I can keep you updated on the situation here, via my device. Of which Chloe has none lest you forget. She will need time to learn the language and the culture of this land. Chloe's a quick learner. She should pick it up in no time at all. Yeah, you're right. Take care of her. <sighs> it will be much harder to gather the right materials without you there, Elena. Hmm. I would also beseech her to stay. I fear what my Lord Uncle and the others may do. I would find some comfort in knowing what they are planning. Please, do feel free to make use of the Consortium, however you see fit, during your stay in Ascendros. That's very kind of you, Director Melthia. I have some concerns regarding those Imperial armaments. Any data you can share from the last battle would be appreciated. But of course. Meet me in the harbor in Kado. I will accompany you on the voyage. Okay. I wasn't really using Elena anyways, so... Yeah. I get this was sprung on you, but why do you have to go somewhere so dangerous, Ray? You're not going to stop him, Elena? I am not. You're getting wrapped up in a war you have absolutely nothing to do with. We're already in hot water. Why put yourself at more risk? Chloe, I know they were a means to an end at the start. But they're my friends now, and they need my help. I can't just say no. Okay. Roger that. Safe journey, Ray. W what Just like that? I thought you were just going along with the flow. But I see your heart's in it now. Do your best. Oh, oh, and try not to get in everyone's way. I'll do all I can on this end, too. Thanks, Chloe. Be back soon. And the logic is sound as well Ray, for her to stay behind. Do be sure to stay careful out there. Do you have anything to say? Meet me in the harbor in Kado. I will accompany you on the voyage. 
So I have to go all the way to Kado! So that's gonna be fun. So that's getting close to, uh, to lunchtime for me. So I'm about to cease recording for the time being. Because I, I had the, the day off from work and I went for an hour long run this morning. That was fun. But I'm kinda hungry and I need more coffee. Holy hell. This is your home, Leticia? My home, yes. I suppose one might call it such. Ah, looks like people come and go as they please, yeah? Not entirely, but yes. As a central institution to governmental, martial, and economic affairs, many come and go through its halls. Oh, that's so cool. And come to think of it, this is my first time in a real functioning castle. Functioning? Oh, we have castles too, but it's just for historical significance. They've been turned into tourist attractions, so you can't go in them. So seeing an actual castle like this, it's so awesome. How old is it? It has been restored a number of times over the years, but has been in its current state for two centuries now, I believe. You're kidding me. Two whole centuries? The castle itself is home to around 300 residents. This includes those who maintain the kingdom, as well as our knights and ministers. 300 residents? No way. Ray? Castles are so freaking epic. Castles. I love castles. Is that quite so? Well, we just learned something about Raymond, didn't we? Never had I dreamed I might enlist the help of Maester Midas. I find myself quite excited. I've been to London a couple times. Actually, I think I did a castle tour there. I still have uh, the brochure. Yeah, let me go find that real quick. So yeah, uh, got the uh, Tower of London official map. I don't know if uh, I'm actually going to uh, post a picture of this in the video. Not likely. But uh, I got yeah, I got to explore with a couple of friends. Things like just to name a couple things. Uh, the Bloody Tower. Entrance to the Crown Jewels, the Fusiliers Museum, all sorts of neat stuff. But this was years ago. I don't know if, if the uh, Tower of London is still, well, the way it was when I went. It caused a pretty pain to get in at the time, too, but it was worth it, in my opinion. Anyway, the current situation notwithstanding, the future at last seems bright. I only hope the princess might see as much. I'm sure she's as hopeful as you are, man. But it looks like uh, that's all, all the people around here that I can talk to. Hi, kitty. So yeah, uh, that's the end of this episode. Now that I made it past that stinking battle. And... I still have... Well, not that I can see it. Here. I still have... 15 of these resurrection elixirs. That's awesome. Might get around creating more of them eventually. But I'm going to try and use it. Anyway! That's the end of this episode. My name is Morgan Six, and I thank you for your time.